time to crank it up to ultra. You're looking at the dashboard for my Jazz Miner X16Q, and it's been mining for a while now. Got it sent over by Jingle Mining. Link's down in the description. And you can see the hash rate that it's doing right now on average is 2,160 mega hash mining Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa together. And now I did a video on this quite a bit ago, and you can see all the different performance modes that the machine has depending on how you want to run it. Whether you have a really high electric rate, you can run it on efficiency mode, or maybe depending on the price of the coin or your goals, you can run it on balance mode or performance mode. I've been running it on performance mode for quite a while now, and they've done some firmware upgrades over time. You can see back then I was getting 2,134 mega hash, now getting 2,160 mega hash. So a little bit extra mega hash out of the machine for the exact same wattage. And profitability wise, what I'm doing right now as I'm making this video, mining Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa, I'm doing $5.49 a day running it on performance mode, which is the most profitable mode for me to run it at. What just happened is they released a firmware update here I just yesterday, and it apparently brings another mode that is gonna be above performance mode they're calling Performance Ultra. So what we're gonna do in this video is first, I gotta go grab it because it's heating my back room right now, bring it down here, we're gonna upgrade the firmware and we're gonna see what kind of performance we now get out of this jazz miner and what my profitability is in comparison. So dirty already. Ugh. There you go, buddy. You're looking good. Back in the dashboard, we gotta go over to system, upgrade, click on select upgrade firmware. We're gonna select this new firmware that I just downloaded, upload the image and let this update. Upgrade finish. Let's hit okay and let's go check this out. So if I go over to minor and I scroll down here, you can see the performance mode that I was running right there. And now we have a new performances ultra. Performances ultra. Let's go, I'm gonna submit that. We're gonna let this mine for a little bit and check the results. I just worked a whole day and I'm home. This thing's been running since I started the video this morning. And you can see it's been running for a little over 11 hours and long story short, it's performing better. Coming in at 2,204 mega hash per second right now, which is a 4% increase on the performance mode from when I tested it when I made the original video. But there's a couple things I wanna talk through that I'm thinking about and that I've noticed. First, looking at this hash rate chart right now, What's happening is that this is mining Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa over on Ezil, and you can see these hash rate movements in the blue. The dips are when it moves to mine a Zill round, and then the spikes is when it comes back up to just mine Ethereum Classic. So what's happening is the average is actually taking in both what it's doing mining Ethereum Classic and the dips. And you can see some of these peaks are hitting uh, 2500 mega hash when it's doing Ethereum Classic only. I believe when I made the original video, I was only mining Ethereum Classic, and so this may not be an apples to apples comparison here, though I'm still coming out better performance overall. Other thing I've noticed is that the average, which is shown in this yellow line, is actually going down over time. Back here, I was averaging a little bit more, 2200 meg hash up to 2300. And you can see if you got a keen eye, that line is just kind of coming down a little bit. I don't know if it's because this machine is running with its fans on 100%, which means that it's trying to cool itself. The temperatures seem just fine when I'm looking at them here. The other thing I noticed is the frequency. This is running currently at 550. On the performance mode, it runs at 530, and then the other modes get lower and lower from there. And so this is operating the chip on a higher frequency, which is gonna give me more performance. Other thing that I noticed is that the power that it's pulling, looking over here on the meter box, is 711 watts, which is exactly the same power that it was pulling when it was on performance mode the last time that I tested it. Let's look at price. Let's see how much this moved. So I was making $5.49 in profit a day, according to mine the ASIC before, and now if I'm doing uh, that new hash rate, which we're gonna call 2205, we're gonna put that in here. Let's see, we're gonna up from $5.49 up to $5.76 in profit per day. And you can see over at Easel Mining Pool, what it's telling me forecast-wise, 
based on the six hour averages on the pool is that I'm gonna be totaling $7.12 a day in revenue, which is a little under the income that's over on Mind the ASIC. So it'll be somewhere within that. Looking at the charts here, you can see performance mode and ultra mode are running at the same exact power. Though I can go back and test these other frequencies, these other modes and see if anything has changed over time. Uh, but you can see again that like 4% hash rate improvement modding on ultra versus performance. But again, the thing that is tricky here is I am now mining Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa, which has given me a lower average hash rate, but that in itself is still beating what I think I did was test just the Ethereum Classic hash rates back when I originally made the video on this because I hadn't done any Zilliqa mining at that time yet. So there's probably something here for me to revisit, to go back to, just to see how much the performance has improved on this Jazzminer X16Q. At the end of the day though, I'll take it. Piece of hardware that's getting free firmware updates that give it better performance makes me curious on just what else this might be able to do in the future. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like button if you did, sub to the channel. Wanna buy one of these? Link down in the description. Take care of yourself, each other. See you in the next video. Oh.